Who's there? Woody Paul. At the Harmony Ranch, we're inviting you all. Join the round of the day. It's the cowboy way with fires in the sky. Get yeah. up. The gallop away with riders in the sky. We're glad you could all come and make it to Harmony. 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 Harmony Ranch. This is going to be a great show. I can feel it in my bones. Old two jaws wouldn't steer you wrong. <laughs> you know, we've had quite a few requests for culturally elevating musical performances here in this show. We have, Ranger Doug? We sure have, Woody Paul. Of course, they've all come from our good friend Buffalo Bill. I feel it is our duty to keep the flame of culture alive or be destined to see it become extinct. That is the most beautiful thing I ever heard. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Two Slam to prepare a solo on one of the great instruments of our time. A classical solo, if you will, on his bass. Bass? I thought you said face. <laughs> I am the cowboy that's known as Old Two Slim. And when they see me riding by, they say, Hey, that's him. He can sing and varmint dance and play the buckhouse bass. Yep. What he does the very best is play his face. There he goes. <laughs> started many years ago when I was just a kid. I'd get to feeling cheeky, and this is what I did. I'd slap a little rhythm. I didn't feel like waiting, and after that, I couldn't quit. It was so invigorating. Play jingle bells. to play you really like a lot. You don't need an instrument, just use the one you've got. It's right between your hair and chin. Remember what I said? You can play on any tune if you just use your head. Everybody, howdy, Hi, princess. 
You look nice. You look nice too, Axel. Oh, hey, what's with the covered wagon, Axel? Oh, well, what I'm delivering today was too big for me to carry on my cycle. That must be the wood shop and varnishing equipment I ordered from the ranch shopping club. Now, what in the world do you need with varnishing equipment, Annie? A gal's got to take care of her looks, don't she? <laughs> <laughs> Not today, Annie. This delivery is for riders in the sky. Whoa. Yeah, it comes from one of them shop by Pony Express places back east. Let me take a look at that, Axel. Yeah. Let's see, dear riders in the sky. Enclosed, please find the brides you ordered. Well, I didn't order any brides. Well, me neither, Ranger Dog. Woody, Woody Paul. Well, I ordered some bridles. It's not out of the question. I might have misspelled it. We better take a look. is a lost art. <laughs> oh, well, would you gals like to come inside? All right! Yeah, you must be all hot and sweaty after that long trip. Not that you smell or anything. Or I'd be the type of fellow to say anything about it if you did. I better quit while I'm ahead, huh, Ranger Doug? It would have been a good idea at the time, Woody Paul. Yes, yeah, we'll just leave you alone for a while. the strangest delivery I ever made. You said it, Axel. I can't believe that riders in the sky are really getting married. Me neither, Buffalo Bill. I don't know. I always figured I'd be the first fella on Harmony Ranch to get married. Oh, same here, Sour Doll. How come, uh, you never got married, Mr. Adler? No, I don't know. I guess I never found the right bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your excuse, Sourdough? I guess I never found the right bird either, Annie. Anyway, I'm not ready for marriage yet. Before a feller gets married, he should be more mature. More mature? If you get any more mature, they're going to declare you a historical monument. <laughs> You princess, you want to get married someday? Yeah, I guess I do. How about you? Yeah, I guess I do too. Axel and princess sitting in a tree. Speaking of trees, what about you, Annie? You mean, am I ever gonna tie the knots? Get it? Wood knots? Oh, we yeah. Yeah. got married once to a ventriloquist. Well, why didn't you go through with it? Marry a ventriloquist? What do you think I am, a dummy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Guys could certainly use a woman's touch around here. Look. Oh, oh, oh. If you ladies would excuse us, I'd like to have a word with my partners here. I don't want to live here, Myrtle. I don't either, Maisie. It's so, so boyish. Now, wait a minute, fellas. It was just a little spelling mistake. It's gotten us in a whole mess of trouble, Woody Paul. Can't we just mark a return to sender and let Axel take him back? Ranger dog. Slim, that would be the easy way. But it wouldn't be the cowboy way. Oh, I'm sure we can straighten this whole thing out. Well, okay, Ranger Doug. But if something goes wrong, promise me I won't have to marry Maud. She reminds me too much of my Aunt Too Lean. <laughs> And I'd be just as happy not to have to marry Myrtle. She looks a little skittish. Oh, okay to me, partners. As long as 
I don't get stuck with Maisie. I never counted on marrying such a glamour girl. Now remember, follow my lead. Well, I guess it's time to get to the wedding. Yes, I guess it's time to pull down our bridal veils. Well, uh, unfortunately, ladies, we, we don't have anyone here to perform the ceremony. Yup, there's nobody here to perform the ceremony. Didn't Sheriff Burke with Justice of the Peace? Does somebody need a Justice of the Peace? Uh. Hey, Belle, get the girls. We're gonna have a wedding. Oh, a wedding? How wonderful. Uh. Gravity, promotion, there's gonna be a wedding. Any really the bridesmaids? Uh, say before we say I'm doomed. I mean, I mean, I do. Would you ladies like to hear one of Two Slim's dinosaur novels? Oh, we love to. Great! How about Snow White and the Seven Prairie Dogs? <laughs> Let's make it a long one this time, Too Slim. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a pretty little gal named Snow White who lived out on the range in a little cabin with seven prairie dogs who all had funny names like Smarty Pants and Mr. Stinky. <laughs> Well, the prairie dogs went to work, and Snow White ate some bad fruit and laid down. And then, somebody kissed her, and she woke up. The end. Gosh, Slim, that was such a good story, I hated to see it end. Not as much as we do! <laughs> well, there must be something else we can do to... Postpone the ceremony. I mean, extend the prenuptial festivities. <laughs> well, maybe we could ask the old player piano to play the wedding march. Yeah, you can't get married without the wedding march. <laughs> but that player piano never plays when we ask it to. Yeah, let's ask it to play the wedding march. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. Is it me, or is something wrong with this processional? No, not much. Except they don't seem to be proceeding. <laughs> Maybe you ladies would like to watch a Gila Monster cartoon before we dive right into the ceremony. Yeah, a Gila Monster cartoon had really hit the spot about now. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Are you sure you wouldn't rather wait and watch it during our reception? Yes, we're Mr. and Mrs. Deplorable, and be seated. Oh, thank you, Principal Hardnose. Is our little boy in some kind of trouble, Miss Hardnose? Yes, is he? Well, little Dooley doesn't seem to be living up to his potential. Uh oh Oh, dear. As you know, here at Bon Jovi Elementary School, we have high expectations of our little pupils. Uh -huh. Your Dooley has a youthful enthusiasm that seems somehow unharnessed. Oh, no. While we encourage individuality in our students, we feel that Dooley's exceeded our expectations in that department. Oh, His ability to cooperate with others is hampered by a tendency to draw attention to himself by inappropriate behavior. Gila Monster! Run for your lives! In an orderly fashion! in the sky will return after these messages. Mm -hmm. And now, back to Riders in the Sky. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Don't feel bad, girlies. I used to 
used to be a mite scared of that Gia monster, too. <laughs> Then what's wrong? Oh, we don't want to get married! No! We don't want to get married! We want to be... Moon stars! Did you ladies say that you didn't want to get married? Yes! We hope you're not too disappointed! Disappointed? Heck no! Really? I mean, of course, we're a little bit disappointed. Yeah, so you gals want to be movie stars, huh? Oh, they certainly got the beautiful looks for it. Oh, kiss me. Oh, you're kiss. Oh, we sing, too. Do you want to hear? Sure. Ready, girls? Yes. One, two, you know what to do. I love to go. Along the mountain track And as I go I laugh and sing My knapsack on my back Valerie 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 Our knapsack on our back Everybody Valerie Someday. And we'll all be saying that we knew you win. Why, <laughs> thank you, Princess. I guess we'd better get a move on, girls. Oh, yes. If we could impose upon our adorable driver to take us a little further postage due. No problem. How often do I get to deliver movie stars? Well, I guess this is goodbye. Ma'am, if you don't mind me saying so, you're the finest bunch of ladies we almost ever got hitched to. <laughs> Well, that goes double for me, too. And that goes, uh, whatever the next one up would be for me, too. Ma'am? Don't forget to send me your autographs, girls! Let me give you gals a little showbiz advice. You gotta learn to take a few knocks in this business. Get it? seen so many gals on the Harmony Ranch in one day before. Well, looks like I'm the only one left. Only one left? What does she think I am? Chopped liver? Don't be silly, Annie. I'm sure she thinks you're chopped wood just like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, everybody. How about a sing-along? <laughs> Princess, we'd be honored if you'd bounce on the words for the Saddle Pals watching at home. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Yippee-yay, there'll be no wedding bells for today. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. As I go riding merrily along. And they sing, oh, ain't you glad you're single? And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Oh, Lily Bell. Jingle, jangle, jingle. 
This is why I up and ran. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. As I go riding merrily along. And they sing, oh, ain't you glad you're single? And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Oh, Myrtle and Marlon hit Maisie too. Why they won't come true? I got spurs that jingle, 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 jingle. As I go riding merrily along, and they sing, and they sing, and they sing, and they sing, and that song is so very fun. That song is so very fun. That song is so very far from home. You know what, Saddle Pals? Everybody makes mistakes every once in a while. We sure do. So don't be too hard on the buckaroos and buckarettes where you live when they make a mistake. Rubbing it in just wouldn't be the cowboy way. Well, Woody Paul and Ranger Doug sure are right. And don't forget, when you make a mistake, don't be too hard on yourself either. We'll see y'all real soon. So long, Saddle Pals! So long, Saddle Pals. It's been so good to see you. Farewell, Saddle Pals. We really hate to leave you. Keep those faces smiling.